Today on the KTLA Morning News at 9, self-help author Kathy Freston brings us her tips for living a happier and healthier life. On the way, she's author of the new book, Quantum Wellness, Conscious Living Counselor. Kathy Freston brings us five ways you can live a happy and healthier life. Yes. Plus, <laughs> author and Conscious Living Counselor Kathy Freston brings us Hi, five tips for living happy and healthier. We'll be right back. Are you continuously looking for ways to improve your health? I'm so excited about our next guest. She's such a lovely lady, and she's here to advise us on five steps that we can take to get happier, healthier lives. And luckily for us, because we all need mm. some sort of reference manual, mm -hmm. she's got a new book. It's called Quantum mm -hmm. Wellness. It is a practical and spiritual guide to health and happiness. We'd like to welcome to the program Kathy Freston. How Kathy, are you? Well, thank you for having me. What a great, great idea to put in five ways, because mm -hmm. I think it can be so overwhelming for folks. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is the thing, that we can really make huge shifts in our happiness and health by doing little tiny changes. Well, you say to start off with a cleanse, and I hear about people doing cleanses yeah, all, all the time. The time. Mm -hmm. What's the importance of a cleanse? Why do we want to do it? And how can we do it properly? Well, it's only a 21-day cleanse, and this cleanse is different in that you're really eating a lot of food. It's just that you're cutting out alcohol, caffeine, gluten, um, all animal products and sugar. What's okay. left? Yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> only of lettuce. Whole grains, <laughs> beans, um, tofu, seitan. I um, love seitan. Yeah, it's really good. All kinds of vegetables, fruits. So you're really eating a very whole foods diet. And is the idea to get the baseline back to its normal? Yes, okay. and yeah. that's the purpose of a cleanse, is just okay. to give your body a vacation so you can get rid of all those old cravings, all those old negative patterns of eating, and get a fresh start. And how often should you do that? Once a year is terrific. You can do it twice a year. And really, it's just a matter of just sort of upgrading the way you eat. So you're getting lots mm -hmm. of nutrients, lots of fiber. It's not a juice fast. It's nothing that difficult. Mm -hmm. But you're really challenging yourself to get rid of the stimulants, the depressants, and all those things that burden you. do like body. those stimulants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I love reading the book. You said something called Building Your Wellness Toolbox. I think that's another yeah. nice yeah. way of putting mm -hmm. it, too. But you say we should participate in fun activities, which sounds easy right. enough to do. But Fun activities, don't. they just remind us of the levity in life. We, we have to remember, we work so hard, you know, mm -hmm. this is a country that we just, we work long days, mm -hmm. we press ourselves, we have a lot of obligations. Fun activities just, it de-stresses us, mm -hmm. it, it, it makes us enjoy the spirit of what we're all about. Yeah. Yeah. Just laughing sometimes laughing. and smiling. yeah, good good listening to good music. Yeah. Another really great point you make is helping others, and I think mm -hmm. that, that the benefits of that to the people who are doing it are really underplayed. Why, why do you talk about that? When you do service, it gets you out of your rut, because you know sometimes we can go round and round in this self-centered fear, mm -hmm. and when you put yourself out there for someone else and you do some volunteer work, you forget about your own stuff, mm -hmm. so you're feeling good, your brain is producing all kinds of endorphins and feel-good chemicals. Obviously, the person you're helping is feeling good. And it also reminds you that you have something to give in life, mm -hmm. you know, and it plugs you into your sense of mission and purpose, which, which elevates your sense of wellness. Now, this next tip I totally sign off on. I can't do. Mm -hmm. I cannot still my mind to meditate, and I've yeah. tried and yeah. tried. Yeah. I can spend moments in prayer, but uh -huh. in terms of meditating for a long yeah. time, I know the benefits it feels of weird. it. You yeah. get distracted. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. I know. Rings. And that's why I started something called a mini meditation. Mm -hmm. It's literally 10 breaths. So oh, everybody I can, can do close that. your eyes and sure. take 10 breaths and just count the breaths. And even in that short amount of time, you're slowing down your nervous system. You are, you're centering yourself and grounding yourself, so you respond differently throughout the day. You're more instinctive more inspired, you're more creative, just with those 10 breaths. And then you build a momentum, and you might add up you know, another 10 minutes and eventually 20 minutes. I just did four, and I feel better already. You're yeah. halfway there. Maybe do it in traffic, just the closing of the eyes yeah, might be, be dicey. Yeah. yeah, could be dicey. And then uh, writing in your journal, keeping a journal yeah. of your, what, what happened throughout the day or something? It's, it's called self-work. By yeah. journaling, you're, you're always asking yourself, what's going on with me? What am I feeling uh -huh. now? Is this a historical feeling? What can I do to upgrade it? Is there something I need to deal with in my life that I'm not quite addressing? Because the purpose of our lives is to grow. And so we're not going to feel good unless we're pushing past our old boundaries, our old stopping points and walls. So by journaling, you're really getting to know yourself 
and you're pushing yourself to go further. Is the notion that you are able to look back and see some of the thoughts you had before? Yes. Because I, I can see how, if you're not careful, yeah. it could turn into like a gripe notebook. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> did me wrong, yeah. and then I got a ticket. And then, but actually, you know, that's not bad because if it's a gripe gets notebook, it off your chest. yeah, it's okay. getting it off your chest. You're it. processing it instead of dumping it on the person that you bump into. You know, right. the the traffic cop or the guy who's you know yelling at you in, in, <laughs> in, in, in a car or something. Yeah. Well, I found that when I do it, it makes me very grateful. I look yes. back and I see, well, the really real good things yeah. in my life. Really good things. I'm always have. afraid someone will read it. Well, <laughs> well, we hide those away. We hide them away. That's right. That's right. And there's actually a great chapter in there too about vegetarianism. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. honestly, mm -hmm. I had just eaten a cheeseburger. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I just went to, I to uh, uh, Tommy's, and I, oh, I turned to the book and I'm like, Kathy, I think it made me think twice. You should read that chapter because it really did. Well, conscious eating is just about. I'm going to think about, yeah, I'm going to be aware of how that animal got to my plate, and I'm going to make that decision if that feels good to me or not. Yeah. Because okay. on a physical level, it's, you know, it, it, it does help to promote cancer and heart disease when you eat animal flesh. Yes. Right. And so for your, your health, it's a good thing to be veg vegetarian. It's also good for the environment. But in terms of your spiritual integrity, it actually feels good to not participate in something that's, you yeah. know, so well, there you go. A lot of food yeah. for thought in her book. It's, uh, Kathy's book is called Quantum Wellness, A Practical and Spiritual Guide to Happiness and Health and Happiness. Available at bookstores everywhere and online, too. For more information on Kathy and how to order the book, go to ktla.com slash at 9. Kathy, thank, you, thank so you so much. Thank you so much. It's really nice to meet you. To think really about. It, no more cheeseburgers today. <laughs> that, that might have been my last one. Still to come.